In the not too distant future, next Sunday AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Okay, Gypsy, if you had your druthers, what would your name be? Stalker Chin. Stalker Chin. Oh, what? Oh. oh. Looks like we're back on, everybody. Hey. Wow. Oh, Check it out. Hey. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. We're just talking about if we had our chance, what would our favorite new name be? Uh, Crow? My name is Jose Jimenez. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Servo, what do you want? Oh. 15 seconds to commercial oh. sign. I've, I've always liked the name Magic, Magic Voice. Voice. Oh, I oh, can I see that. Huh? huh? Anyway, Tom Servo? Well, oh, personally, I've always been partial to Sugar Magnolia. Oh, sugar Magnolia. <laughs> commercial sign in five, four, three, two. two. Commercial, commercial sign now. And from now on, I'll be known as Chuck Woolery. We'll be back in two minutes and two seconds. Open. Uh, Joel? Yeah, cool, Joel? buddy. W would it be okay if I change my name to Alan Parsons Project? They call me Mr. Tibbs. This is Richard Benson. <laughs> this is Richard Benson. <laughs> now on, I'll, I'll be known as Vivian Benson. That's <laughs> it. That's it. From now on, all bets are off. From now on, we go back to the old names for the rest of the experiments the Mads are calling. You know, Clay, when you come right down to it, I think I'd like to be known as just Frank. Why is that, Frank? Because if you can't find peace within... Oh, shut up! I went you... along with you long enough. This Mike Douglas furniture was a terrible idea. Don't I get to be your co-host for the week? No, and you don't get to sing The Man in My Little Girl's Life, either. Oh, hello, booby. How did you fare going through the asteroid belt? Jeepers, don't remind me. Ouch. <sighs> well, my invention exchange this week is... Wait for it. Wait for it. Daddy, there's a boy outside. His name Shut is Tom. Shut up! Now! Everybody knows smoking kills, but it's cool. Uh. What are you gonna do? Huh. Everybody loves tar. Sure, who doesn't? But scientists have known for well over a year that it's bad for you. So, when you go into a restaurant and they ask you for smoking or non-smoking, do what I do. <laughs> hey, it's a smoking jacket. Ah, Get cool. it? Cool. Like father, like son, think about it, won't you? <laughs> yeah, right. Well, here it is, Dimples, the latest craze, robotic arm wrestling. Yes! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Forrester! Forrester! Dr. Clayton Forrester! 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 Dr. Clayton Forrester! Woo! Right. Yes! Yes! Woo! 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 Uh, well, your uh, experiment this week, Joel, is a bit of a break for you. Uh, it's, uh, it's, I haven't seen the whole thing, but it's uh, kind of a buddy picture. I've, I've seen the opening credits, and it looks to be like a modern-day Defiant ones. Uh, isn't that right, Frank? I think you're going to like it. It's a little thing we like to call cave dwellers. Frank! 
enjoy it while it lasts, Astro Boy Toy. Oh, this must be in a uh, shoebox format here. Yeah. Neat. <sighs> How much Keef is in this movie anyway? Miles O'Keef. <laughs> hey, now look here. You can actually see the driver turn and shoot Kennedy. <laughs> it's on the. Cave uh, uh, Dwellers, wasn't he in? Uh, uh, cave, cave Dwellers. Oh, no. it's the yeah. name of the movie. I'm guessing. Hey, Jodie Foster's sister. I'd shoot Donald Regan to prove my love for Lisa Foster. <laughs> Cute. Uh-huh, yeah. I see it. Hmm, Boromel, the thorough but gentle laxative. <laughs> oh. Hey, isn't this a scene from Brian's song? Yeah, that's uh, Billy D. Williams and James Caan. Oh. I love Brian Piccolo. And when you hit your knees tonight, ask God to love him too. Thank hey, you. bro, let's go get a brew. Come on. David Kane Houghton. Wasn't he an assassin? No, you're thinking of Lee Harvey Oswald. No, it was James Earl Ray. Oh, no, Mark David Chapman. No, John Wilkes Booth. No, it was Arthur Bremel. Huh? Arthur Bremer? Oh. 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 oh, okay, well. Director of the top half of the photography. There it is. Wow, a lot going on back there. You guys should check it out. Hey, look, uh, uh, Rasta Chili. That's good with a little pesto sauce and some sun-dried tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> look at those thing. poor bastards. This is ridiculous. That, oh, 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 that was over there. Wow. Turning the page on the. Yeah. Hey, John Newman, we can put his spaghetti sauce on the rastacelli. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Poor guy. The hills have eyes, but they have glaucoma right now. <laughs> Was close, friend. This week on Cave Dwellers. Uh, I'm grinding the basil, uh, adding some Romano cheese. Mmm, mm, grog tastes good. Hey, it's the cast party for cats. <laughs> it's Betty Buckley, and she's eating Dick Van Patten. <laughs> A little stringy. You know, you can eat off the floor of this cave. In fact, they're doing it right now. Hmm? After the fiery, chaotic creation of the Earth, in the turbulent period of man's ascendancy, hey, who's talking? our world is populated by wild, cruel, and ignorant men. Oh, you mean the 80s. But there are still a few who seem to have been touched by some higher power. And they're in and AA now. And bravery, hmm. Get out of the fire. From the savage world. But their table manners needed work. Playing the center spear, Og. Playing defensive backup, Oog. And at right hunchback, it's Org. Dun 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 Hey, there's a monolith outside. Yeah, everybody's evolving and stuff. It's really neat. Hey, Grog just threw a bone in the air and it turned into a spaceship. Come on, come on, Crow Magnon. Neanderthal. I'll still a Pithecus Africanus. Why you? Come on, get in the line, get in the line. The time life photographer is here. Hey, it's the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Ooh. Hey, how can they tell who's, si who's on whose side? Oh, it's uh, shirts and skins. Oh, skins. <laughs> eat it, boy, eat it. Oh. Ooh. Oh, it's the man who invented the wedgie. Oh. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's an early version Ooh. of West Side Story. Uh, I just met a girl named Uh. Stately Wayne Manor. Wow, it's Barbie Benton. Uh, Half, we're all out of Evian. You called me, Father? Are you still here? What's the matter? Um, I'm all what? out of blue stuff. I've never seen you looking so worried. Or so ashamed. Last night, I had a strange dream. About a chick in a black bikini. It troubled Ooh. me greatly. Human knowledge, even in its most exalted form, uh -huh. is nothing uh -huh. against fate. 
Come over here, my dear. Where the camera moved to. Something over I here. must show you. Hey. Father dear, you've always shared your knowledge and inventions with me. Is there something you've discovered that you've been hiding from me? I've always wanted you to be wise. But we'll settle on But books. remember that imagination is as important as knowledge. Hmm? Yes, imagination. Oh. Mm. That is you possess mm. by nature. Mm. The next most important thing is peanut is butter. But oh, this yeah. man learns only with the passage of time. More than you. I've waited until now to show you my discovery. A rear view mirror? Stronger than dirt. It is everything and nothing. Uh, could you be a little more vague, please? And death. Mm -hmm. Goodness, riches, and badness, poverty, and evil. It's boss. Neat. It all depends on man. What are man's options? What man does with it. Oh. Okay. Then it might <laughs> might be a weapon. Exactly. Mm. And like all weapons, it must be kept away from ambitious men. And Nazis. But father, how can I save no, it? No, daughter, your hands are too weak. You'll get fingerprints all over and it. Zor's thirst for power is too strong. He's spreading south with his henchmen. I, know. I see myself in there. But he would never dare to enter our territory. I wonder if it's worth the risk of counting on that. Or the risk of acting. But father, you taught me that science is always a risk. Ah, but a man of science takes a calculated risk. Mm, science is only a means, one of many for obtaining. There's also fan dancing. Mm. What do you, the viewers at home, think? I am now too old for so great a responsibility. And for such flashy jewelry. Whoa. What do you intend doing? To protect a thing of such great import. Tense. There is only one man. Ator. But he's a baby. Ator is the son of Torin. Oh, he was born good. during the tenebrous era of the Spider Kingdom. Wow, everybody the did drugs then, I guess. The service of Dakar, a despotic high priest, were sent out to These must be Ator's home but movies. Yep. A former high priest carried off the infant Ator to uh -huh. uh, This is the part of the film we like to call She Had to Dakar, Ask. The Black uh -huh. Knights. Yep who constantly scoured the land uh -huh. sacrificial land. victims of the spider god. Spider god? Uh -huh. Sweeping down upon the village was Hathor, now yeah. a young man, uh -huh. with a dwelling. Yeah. The Black Knights badly wounded him Ooh. and carried off Sunya, his young bride. Getting all this? Say. Whoa. As Ator nursed his wounds, I nursed he the swore Scotch. to rescue Sunya and crush the iron-handed rule of Dakar. Who? Griba. Son of Flogmog, keeper of the seven keys of Fintuzler. Encouraged Ator and taught him the martial arts. And Marshal Crenshaw. Marshal Tucker. Things are moving real fast. Ooh. Yeah. Enjoy it while Hey, Gene Kasem. When Ator was deemed ready to set out on his mission, Griba yeah. revealed the unit's nice. noble heritage and consigned to him the Sword of Torin. No, the Shroud of Torin. Only Ator Jeez, Jeez Tolkien side. couldn't follow this plot. Mm -mm. <laughs> Doesn't have dwarves. It's the Wango Zitango! Get down. Before Ator could conquer the Spider Kingdom, he came under the spell of the beautiful witch Edun. Ooh, Cher at the Funhouse. A thousand year old enchantress. Yeah. Who Ooh. called forth a horrible army of walking dead oh. for slaying. It's, it's Aztec, Aztec Mommy! Ooh, how graphic. Wow. Ator is Check me out, I'm not half bad. Captured the glistening charmed shield of Murdor and the secret decoder ring. Oh, come on, those moon boots went out in the 70s. At last, Ator confronted Dakar. Played by Tommy Chong. Some deformed warriors in a battle to the death. Oh, he's been gonged. Aided by the incredibly potent shield of Murdor. <laughs> and it's free prize inside. The then had to kill Griba, who had revealed his evil designs for obtaining power by using Ator as his pawn. Then he broke for a After light bomb. After rescuing Sunya, 
Artor faced the immense hideous spider itself and plunged the sword of Torin into the grisly creature's body. He'd never killed uh, that big a puppet by before. The when the spider god was killed, the forces of blackest evil were unleashed. Uh, objects in shield are smaller than they appear. Forth its molten magma in anger. Then he worked out on the charismatic solo flex of Zantar 13. Now rest. You've deserved it. <laughs> Later, when Sunya died, Ator retired to the Eastern Land, where he lives in the company of Thong, an Oriental warrior and saint. Played here by Jimmy Carroll Black of the Mothers of Invention. <laughs> Ooh, I hate that. That's enough for now, Thong. Uh, scratching, that is. You know, that exercise works. You were right. I can feel it here. Wait, where's my shirt? The muscles are stronger. Yeah. Are we still in a flashback? Uh, I think so. Okay, Paul. Woo. Used to be a tapanyaki shot. Yeah. I'm still using that old move. <laughs> Vegetables. Okay. Oh, not done yet. Hey. Uh, then they do improv exercises. Whew. Align the vertebrae and release. And break. Shake it out. There. <sighs> that do. Now where was I? Oh. Uh, charm shield, incredibly potent. Father. Hello. Ah. Yes, my dear. Tell me. Again? No! No! no. no. <sighs> All right. Daughter, you know you're the only person oh, who would recognize the urgency of my call. <laughs> but I can't leave you at a time like this. During a flashback? Oh, Dear, you will find with the passing of time that you can't always have what you want. But if you try some time, you just might find you get what you need. But you're the only one I have. You and the dog. My dear Mila. <laughs> dear. You don't have to worry about dear. my safety. A sly old fox like me knows how to take care of himself. These are things a man has to learn. Quit shaking me, Dad. And it goes on, repeating, for the rest of life. Unfortunately. Stately Wayne Manor. What's Wayne Manor? Oh, that's where Batman lived before he uh, became the Dark Knight in those comic books. Oh, they're not comic books. They're graphic novels. Oh, come oh. on. Music by the Super Mario Brothers. <coughs> Quit pushing back there. Keep your swords down. You're inside now. That city's supposed to be around here somewhere. Uh, we're trying. Which? Oh, that. Oh, okay. <coughs> Run outside and see what the trouble is. Quickly. But you. Go, I told you. Be careful. Huh? <sighs> later. Later. Well, better 86 to hooch. A little nip won't hurt. Use the handrails. Safety on the stairway. Hey, wait for me. Me too. Hey, wait up. Hey, I found some funny wet clay. It's raining men. Hallelujah. <laughs> Dad, tell me another story. He's here. I should have realized the time was so close. I've read the script. You must ride due east and try to reach Ator. The road's long and hard, but you cannot escape. <laughs> when you seem to have reached the ends of the earth, ask for Earl. When it seems that nature herself declines to accompany you any further on your journey, then you'll have reached the domain of Ator. Canada? How can you ask me to do this now? It is not for myself that I ask Mila but for the welfare of all mankind. Ah. Go. Take a sweater and be back by 10. Hi. Ah. Hey. Uh -huh. 
That's my spice rack! Dad? Die. Stop! Huh? How dare you lay hands on him, you mangy dogs! All of you put together are not worth this man's little finger! And I meet them from the bottom of my heart. Ouch! Help me. You know that hat has a slimming effect on you? I thought. But among your many virtues, mm -hmm. the first I'd find was forgiveness. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Perhaps I've not yet quite acquired total control oh. over myself. Come. Okay. They're only petty soldiers. They can't approach your exalted level. Oh, thanks, but now's no time to kiss out. comes to an end. All levels are the same. Really? For my own part, I fail to see why during life, uh -huh. we yeah. create artificial distinctions among ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because all men are born yeah. equal. Oh, let me get a pencil. I want to write that Listening one down. Makes me sick. I become more and more certain that my little visit here Mm -hmm. is fully justified and will be extremely profitable. You can write it off on your taxes. Mm -hmm. Do you imply mm -hmm. that you are a conqueror mm -hmm. who claims the spoils of victory? Or are you a common thief? Oh, geez, this has more pauses than a pinter play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, observational humor. God, I love Seinfeld. Oh, we Let's gotta go. get out of here. Uh. Oh, Chase me. Let's oh. just <laughs> say I'm an unexpected guest. Uh, uh, too tight. Uh, oh, 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 I don't okay. know, Joel. I don't think this is for me. Oops, I lost it. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? You look grand, fantastic. I could eat you up. Oh, and I could bite that big toe. Ooh. Hey, now quit clowning. You know, what we're going to do is a little more lucid version of those really bad uh, openings we saw, the credits, oh, the you know? Credits, yeah. hey, that is if Cambot will man the wall of keyboards. What are you saying? Oh, good. Hey, All and right, will you give great. us that half screen uh, posterization effect too, Cambot? No, uh, there Joel, we go. Uh, what are we supposed to do again? That's cool. Well, all you do is we play the characters we talked about earlier and we uh -huh. run around and stuff. All oh, yeah. right, got it. Frolic, cavort, parade, get about the shift, that sort yeah. of thing. Uh, Joel? Yeah. Isn't this kind of fruity? Gee, I never really thought about it that much. Joel, it is. Yep. Well, no matter. Anyway, uh, let's do it again. You ready, Cambot? Music. There we go.
I thought that was pretty fun. That was cool. <laughs> oh. He's still looking for the ends of the earth here. Ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. I gotta get to the ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. Of the earth. Ooh, she's in love. So, the ends of the earth are this way. Thank you. Ugh. You idiot. We don't even have a dough license. That way. Yeah. Ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, you were playing a Titleist, right? Yep. You got a rotten lie. Let me tell you. Daddy. Uh, uh, lady, can we have our arrow back? Lady. Oh, Mrs. Lady. Oh. Ah. Hey. Why is she limping? Because she's got an arrow in her chest. Oh, I can see. Huh? One thing still puzzles me, Acronos. Use the handrails. I invented them for a reason. Why Eastwood? Why did your daughter fly like an arrow straight towards the sun? Ooh, good hmm? metaphor. Of course, I could easily use torture to make you tell me. But that would be too simple. And too much Spoil fun. Spoil our little game. Yes. I see. It's quite obvious. You're testing me. You want to verify my powers of deduction. Mm -hmm. Very well. Nice. Bring me the map. And bring me the head of Gallagher. <laughs> Welcome to Death Valley Days. The driver's either missing or he's dead. <laughs> Hey. Mm. Made this in shop class. It's a letter opener. It's not perfect. Yet. A Mark Seven production. He doesn't give a tinker's damn about anything. Hey, did you just turn into an owl oh. and then back real fast? Maybe it was too hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. It should be enough for now. Mm. Gotta wait until it's cold. That could take forever. Oh, help. Mm -hmm. Look, look out, it's wet there. I just mopped. Dad, help me, please. Prepare everything. With pleasure, my liege. <laughs> hey, he's washing with lava. The soap? Oh, no, the real thing. Oh. It's Marmaduke. Hmm. All right, good. Okay, let's see. We've got the cow skin, the banana leaves, and the dog. That should be about everything. All we can do is pray, although we haven't thought of any gods yet. Well, it's up to the dog. No, Marmaduke, don't use the triple overhand stitch. Bad dog. I could be wrong, but this arrow might have something to do with her pain. Ah. What do you got? She's okay. <laughs> Boy. Look at how primitive their wet naps were during the Dark mm. Ages. Well, it's a pretty big hole. I might need another one of those. Got the crazy idea, boss. Let's make a giant cigar out of her. Would, would you quit the your area is deserted, barren. It's the best show tuned ever. It's brassy, sassy, it's a musical humdinger. Let's see, Quid Mulberg and Pano. Wait a minute. Atto. This is the Magna Carta. So now we have it. He was another pupil of yours, wasn't he? Hmm. As you can see, he's about his well part in this film, isn't he? Many stories have grown up around this pupil of yours. I wish you'd grow up. But now the time has come for me to discover the man child within the truth of these stories. I pledge allegiance. 
This is really amazing. Hmm. Why, your knowledge of surgery surpasses even that of the great one. Ooh, Jackie Gleason? Oh, I'm just what? tallying up your bill here. I'm ready to go now. No, you're not going. I'll decide when you're ready. Little Missy. Journey is long. Long journey. Hmm. Once we start, there'll be no stopping. stopping. But I explained to you that my father is in great danger. Danger? How many A's in danger? I understand the dangers that face all men. All men. The wise one is very strong very and will resist. Strong. But his heart is weak. Heart is weak. That's the reason he sent me. Sent me. What do you think he's writing? The script? Yeah. Hmm. All right. But you must know this. Two plus two is five. I mean four. If you're too weak, we'll have to leave you behind. Well, thanks for the beer, Gomez. But first you must prove to us if you are the daughter of the Great One. If you can look bored and speak haltingly, you're in. Come with me. No, not you, her. Here she is. Too bad Gomez didn't get a speaking role here. Poor guy. Go in there. Oh, right. I'm a freshman at a small Midwestern college. The small one was dark with long hair. Mila. Now sing something from Painter Wagon. You're really the daughter of a Cronus. Cronus Quartet? Oh. Then you will know what to do. Next on Current Affair, Women Behind Bars. Hmm, okay. Let's see now. There's a Super Bowl, and half a peanut, and a length of kite string, and a carpenter's saw. What would MacGyver do? Is this right? Mm, mm -mm. Nope. Wrong, cold. Oh. Very cold. Freezing. Frigid. Freezing, Alaska. Oh, you're a cute one, aren't you? <laughs> Getting warmer. Mm, warm as toast. She made, uh... Very warm. She's making flash powder from her own fills. Oh, neat. Neat. <laughs> uh -huh. Dibs. Rats. Love, love, love! love. Doo, doo, doo. They do have a lot of product to burn off. Mm -hmm. I suppose she could have just tried the lock. All done? Uh, Gomez, don't pass in front of the actors. Please. When I left your father's castle, he told me that if ever the geometric nucleus could endanger the world's peace, hmm? A messenger would come to me and prove his identity beyond a doubt. You owe me 50 you bucks for the door. Let Ancient us go. Chinese secret, huh? They say that thanks to your teaching, Atto has mastered the forces of nature. Well, my dear Acronus, let me introduce you to Sandor. You can call me Sandy. He represents, how shall I put it, the opposite of your pupil at all. Looks like uh, Willie Nelson, yeah. doesn't he? Hmm. Has mastered everything that lies outside and beyond the forces of nature. And he knows lies are. He manipulates at will. Those forces which men believe uncontrollable. Mm -hmm. The occult. Oh, the IRS. Gas. What do you say to that? Many years ago. Oh, not no, another no, flashback. No, 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 no. Oh. oh. Rough it's magic cool. for higher things. Dear God, he's dull. Of course, any man who seeks knowledge and is wise should be willing. See if you can make him slow down, Joel. Who knows? Hey. I might be hey, up there. So, as you can see, right, the Willie Nelson's a tough audience. Giving us a lesson in humility. 
nevertheless. Hey, doesn't he make well leather mugs at the eyes. Renaissance Festival? Oh, and you will yeah. see a flame of defiance. Say something. Wine. Come on, fake it. Yes, it is clearly there. Mm. And that's my only line. Good. Sando, there is someone I want neutral. Oh. Eliminated. <laughs> what happened? We Some crazy. Far away. At the ends of the earth. Canada. Couldn't you find a more convenient place? And who is it, sire? Ator. Gesundheit. It's the chalice from the palace. And now you will witness the might of my power. Got a minute? Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Yowza. Cool. Things getting kind of weird. Hey, I think your cape is fabulous! <laughs> oh, well, they're getting close to Ridley Scott now. I don't understand. We're not surprised. Are these guys employed by anybody? I think they're just temps wandering through the forest. Yep. Hire a thug. Uh-oh. Fog starting to obscure the action. What action? Oh. <clears throat> Whose woods are these? I think I know. We'll watch these woods fill up with fog. And where's Mila? Who? Mila! Puma! She must be lost. I say it's foggy! Guys, this isn't funny. I Guys! <clears throat> Puma! Ma, don't do that! Where are you? <clears throat> Did someone say Ator? Beijing Mr. Ator. Hmm. <coughs> yeah. After exhausting every possibility, the men move on. I knew there was a cave Fred. like this in these parts. Wilma? Barney! Someone's following us. Echo! Did you hear that? Listen. Okay. Come on. Quick, run with me, friend, towards the danger. Boy, I wonder how much it costs to heat this cave. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh -huh. Huh? Huh? They're invisible. <laughs> oh, man. I don't believe it. They were too cheap to hire villains in this one. Yep. <laughs> Oh, come on. What is this, a Charlie Callis routine? Oh. Hey, why don't you pick on somebody your own opacity, huh? <laughs> what is this, a heart video? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> they only show the fat one from the head up anymore. Hey. Sorry, it was a little... Dad? Dad? Guy. Okay. Play Misty for me. So, let's recap the action so far. Uh, nothing really. Uh, you're right. Let's move on now. Dad? <laughs> <laughs> hey, why do you keep hitting yourself? <laughs> uh, dork. Whoa! Now they're scarier! Whoa! Booga, 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 booga. I do this to my dog. It's really funny. No, they're not scary. They're just kind of goofy. Like shooting fish in a barrel, Dong. A thong. Oh, that's it. Thong, just kill it. Don't play with it. Good boy. Man, don't they want their capes? No, they'd have invisible blood on them. Oh, uh, uh, what? Daddy. As long as we're here, can we stop over at the Gap and get some 501s? Huh? Oh, well, like, excuse me, have you seen uh, two guys with capes? Ew, crowdy Joey. <laughs> no, guy, I don't want to sample Giorgio. Oh, these must be the yeah. cave dwellers. Right. That's right. 35 minutes into the film, and we're finally at the first plot point. Mm -hmm. Well, there's Sid Field. Hey, I hate Clinique. Really, I'm just looking. Huh? 
You go there. Mm. I'll go this way. Uh, we'll stay. Uh, no, no, no. It's walk softly and carry a large. No, no. Room. It's quickly walk and carry something big. No, I know. It speak softly and carry a. <laughs> now you're uh, crazy. You walk swiftly and you, you carry, carry a something. Small... No, I know no, you no. carry you're something. Walking and you're walking. Whoa! 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 God, you got. Satch. Coppola. Dad. Ojibwa, wait a minute, I invented a word! Oh. Uh, rhubarb, caveman rhubarb, rhubarb. I am a noble savage. God, I hate Mondays. Boo! There's that great ham and organ sound. Oh, now we steal your hubcap. <laughs> Get lug wrench. Tuesdays are human sacrifice day at the Sizzler. Kai. Mm, barbecue. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, yeah. I think Tony Bennett left that in San Francisco. Ooh. Here. It's a little rare. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I want a Barney Clark bar. Mmm, something smells good. Cannibal rhubarb. Oh, yeah. Ator comes out of the hole, round the fire. Sees a shadow. Hey, it's Dr. Christian Barnard. What do you know? Was. Hey, he said hey. Hey, you know, now this really is a heart video <laughs> with the thing. Uh, Greasy dog. Huh? Uh, you say something, God? Oh, she got childproof cap. <laughs> I've got a wonderful Grinchy idea. <laughs> hey, she already has a plate. She she's self-serving. Oh, well, speaking of serving, we gotta run. Let's go, guys. Oh, yeah, we gotta go. Oh, Whoa. the lighting sounds oh, spectacular. It's just getting cool, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, say, Joel, I have a oh, question. Yeah? yeah, ask away, my red friend. <laughs> well, why is it these guys in the film give such fancy pants names to everything, hmm? Yeah, like they call a regular old shield the glimmering charm shield. It's like so stupid, guy. Uh, well, it's obvious that this movie has a really low budget, especially for mm -hmm. props, and yeah. so by adding really neat names to ordinary things, you can kind of dress it up. Like, it was kind of obvious her breastplate that the woman was wearing was actually an off-the-rack auto part from Napa. Yeah, but you can't yeah. very well say, uh, hither yon, there goes the uh, hubcap of the Plymouth Somerset, right? All right, but what you could say is, she has donned the maiden shield of Valley Seven. Exactly, oh, yeah. now you're getting it. Uh, I, I get it, I see. Um, if I had a box of ordinary paper clips, uh, I could say, um, here is a box of incredibly bent pieces of wire used to hold the pressed wood pulp planes in security. Right, now you're getting it, that's exactly right. It's just adding extraordinary names to ordinary things. It makes it fun. Yeah, yeah, you find the fun and snap the jobs game. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah, I spit spot you too. Oh, I love to laugh, long and loud and clear. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, sorry, I digress. Um, well, anyway, you know, they give cool names to TV shows like that too, like uh, White Shadow. Could have been called uh, Haloed Hoop Honky. Or uh, Jake and the Fat Man. You could have called that, um, well, uh, Jake, Jake and the, and the Fat Man. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. You know what occurs to me that when local TV stations talk about the Grand Marshals for their holiday parades, what they're really saying is Gavin McLeod. Exactly. Oh, I got one. A pre recorded segment that's uh, 
that goes into a program is called a bumper. And yeah. actually, it's really just the movie song. <laughs> Let's see, uh, he who reads these words of wit eats his little balls. Oh, now that's immature, even for the dark ages. Hmm, for a good time, call Dong. Thong. Thong. Is it wrong? <laughs> they're kind of dumb, they're easy to kill. The American Gladiators. Hmm. Ah. Something dull. Come towards it, our friend. By the stubbing of my thumb, something stupid this way comes. Uh-huh, just as I thought. Hmm. Checks out. Meter man. Knock it off up there! Hmm? For a good time, call. Oh. Stupid rock. Stupid, stupid rock. Oh. Oh, man. Find a way out. Stupid rock. Well, good thing you were here, Gomez. We would have never found it without you. Huh? Drizzle, 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 drone. Time for this one to come home. So Bob Hope owns all of that? Yeah, yeah, we're thinking of turning it into a nine hauler. Mm. Yeah. You have failed, Sander. Bad country you have singer. Made me Bad little little. Precious time! Mm. You had all the magical powers that you told me you had. Again Not with a finger! Time. I don't see how I failed. You don't, Dave. Eh? Well, you soon will. Her. Gods! Hey, Paul Wellstone. If after all this time, Zandor has been worthy of your esteem, mm -hmm. then you are as guilty of having failed as he is. Flog him! Thank you, sir. Please have mercy. I fear for you, Sandor. Mercy does not dwell in the hearts of those without spiritual strength and wisdom. Don't bite me, it's fun! Very well. Imprison him. I'll employ some tricks of my own against Athor. And you can use your time to come up with something new, and it better be good, Sandor, if you want to regain my esteem. And I think you know how important for you mm. is my esteem. Mm. Okay, okay, I'll do linking rings. I'll do bottle on the cup. I'll do metamorphosis. Wait, wait! Into the earth. Oh, we're already there. It's much too quiet here. Too, too quiet. Not a good sign. I sense the presence of something evil. That's you. Zor must be at work here. Since we left the caves, I've had the feeling that we're being followed. Ah, uh, that's me, boss. I'm right behind you. I don't know, but we'll soon find out. <laughs> huh? Look, there they are. Yes. Come on, quick, hide. Oh no, they've jumped right into a Kurosawa film. So it'll start making sense? Mm hmm. Yep. Toshiro Mafoon, right there. Ooh. I'm huge! Mm -hmm. Dig me. Yeah. Oh no, a mime. Oh. <laughs> Did he mention he's huge? Yeah. He does that. Warriors, come out and play! No. You see, I use two blades. The first blade lifts the head away from the body before the head can snap back. And then the, uh, okay. the little yeah. skin level. Yeah. We get it. Huh. Come on, come on. Ooh, right in the bread basket. Oh. You know, the reason this scene is so good is because we care about the characters. We do. Mm hmm. I mean, we do? We really do. Hey, it's the life of the party. He's got a lampshade on his head. It'll be the death of the party soon. Oh, 
Ooh, mm. wicker armor, courtesy Pier 1. Doesn't work too well, let's just decorate it. Hurts, don't it? I, oh. Look out, it's Coco the Terrible! <laughs> Goofy old mime. <laughs> Okay, just like we rehearsed it. Up. Over. Cross. <laughs> I will kill you! <laughs> oh, or uh -oh. not. Hey! Is this where the kegger is? We saw Mark's van in front. No, wait. Uh, we just remembered. Uh, we didn't leave enough change in the meter. We're double parked. Bye! <laughs> no use chasing. Save your strength. The castle of the Great One is still far away. And the end of the movie is even further. Well said. Yeah. What I mean is, there is hey, a certain West. risk involved for you. In stopping Athor, I might inadvertently, of course, mm -hmm. also harm your daughter. What do you say to that? I say, you could drive a Mack truck through your queues. Tempo, tempo, pick it I up! I must admit that as a murderer, you're most impressive. Mm -hmm. But as an Andrew McCarthy fan... You will receive nothing from me but pity. Aww. Careful, old man. Go to bed, old man. My patience has its limits. I'm aware of that fact. As does your talent. But I mustn't expect too much from you. <laughs> patience, after all, is a virtue which is found only in the strong. <laughs> You're wonderful. Marry me. You do amuse me mm. and provoke me. That is love, isn't Zora. it? Mm. What is it? Ator has escaped again. Oh. Hi, Kurt Gowdy here. Join Thong and Phil Harris and me out on the Idaho River fishing for trout. <laughs> now try catching a steak, dog. Thong. A thong. Huh? <laughs> Ator, what's your dream? How big is God? For a moment back there, I had the feeling you knew those men that attacked us. Mm -hmm. Did you? Yes. Well, we played varsity together. I do. Who were hmm. they? They're the survivors of the noble tribe of Han. They worship the god of war, Soko. Mm -hmm. Soko? I know that name. Oh, he dated my he friend was Lord Sharon. Of the Northern Territory. Uh, what's uh, Miles setting on? Command was his brother, Ooh, I don't want to know. Zor. In a great battle against the Han, Zor exterminated them, but spared um. the lives of three samurai, and then used them to uh -oh. kill his own brother and usurp power. Oh, if this is another flashback, I gotta go get a sandwich. Do you think I... that Zor will... Oh, it's okay. Do you think my father's still alive? Oh, sure. <coughs> Zor wants to possess your father's knowledge, Mila. And your mother's wardrobe. And the geometric nucleus. Mm. No, your father's safe. As long as he has it. Uh, that's enough fish, Don. Thank you. Thank you very much, Don. That's enough fish. Just a few dozen more. Why did you go and live so far away? Well, it's on the bus line. Your father taught me the path I must follow. It is for this I live the way I do. <laughs> But shouldn't a man's destiny... Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. ...coincide with the desires of his heart? Man's destiny is always predetermined. Always a Calvinist. ...by the true mm -hmm. desires of his heart. I know what mine is, and I must follow it alone, Mila. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. That's all right. I'm glad you asked. What's your major? Dom? Hmm? The fish is ready. Oh, wow, what I wouldn't give for a weed eater right now. Hmm? Hmm? No! Don't kill us! Oh, what will you give me? Okay, you talked me into it. Hmm? What? I'm dead? Uncle Dave? Oh. <clears throat> Mila. What is it? Someone's coming. Look. Cover your hip. Who are you? 
Uh, we're pirates. What do you want? Look, you captured us. <clears throat> Fine. Where do you come from? Everywhere and nowhere. Mm -hmm. Somebody say something. Well, answer. Can't you speak? We're from Sulajan. Eh, wrong answer, but thanks for playing. Sulajan? Yes, it's to the north, not far from here. Yeah, I worked out there. I know. It's where my parents were born. Then you're Atar, pupil of the great master. Yeah, yeah, that's you me speak pretty much. without fear with me. Much evil has fallen on the people of our village. Bummer. In order to survive, we must make an offering to the god of the Kungs. Humans sacrifice to the serpent god on every full moon. Besides, our people are not warriors. We're only poor farmers. If we don't get help soon, we'll all die. Hmm, I like it. Make it shorter, I'll buy it. The Kungs have always demanded the blood of man. <laughs> yeah, they're funny that way. <laughs> we'll soon finish you. We must act quickly. But not right now. In a minute or two. Half an hour, maybe. Wow, check out the way that guy moves, huh? What do mm. you tend to do, Ator? We'll take them back to the village, and I'll speak with their people. The village people? Hmm? Hmm? The guns will kill us. Mm, I think we should run! run! Ah! No, let them go, Thong. If you love something, let it go. We'll go without them. We'll hurry down there. We'll be the first to volunteer. I'll be doing the death scene from Camille, thank you. And the next? Come forward, cowardly lion. Oh, it's a woman. Mm -hmm. I could use a man like you. And I do mean use. Uh, you, uh, never mind. Nice yeah. try. Yeah. We need another. I'll go. Uh, no, you went last time. One to a no, customer. No, not you, my dear. Our family's already given one life to the gun. Grandma, hmm? I must. Else another will have to take my place. Nancy Walker in a cameo role. Hmm. Wait! Hey! It's Speedy Delivery Guy, and has he got a package? Stop! In the name of love. Just wait for me. I'll be down in a minute. Just stand there. I'm coming. Okay. Well, now. Oh, I thought this was the Anderson party. Sorry. <laughs> I'll just be on my way. Who is this gentle stranger with pecs like melons and knees of fringe? Hi. That door. Where? You have chosen a day of mourning to visit the village of your parents. Afternoon? I've really? come to help you fight. We're not fighting men. The Kungs are best. You must. If you go on like this, none of you will be left alive. <laughs> Dude looks like a lady. <laughs> Where's Ravani? Who? Ravani has left us. Because he had nothing to do with the he was film. too old to guide us. I have taken his place as the elder. He was a proud, courageous man. But dumber than a bag of hammers. He never would have allowed such submissive behavior. What, are you calling me a wussy? Mm -hmm. You must not lose heart. I see great Because a guy here. will eat it. Most of your young people willingly sacrifice themselves to be victims Coffee. of the Kungs and their serpent Tea. god. Why I'm not put that courage nuts. to better use and fight back? For the Kungs Softies. can be defeated and I will help you. You will regain your freedom and Juice. live in peace again. Surprise is an excellent weapon. Hi, Estelle. How are you doing, requires intelligence rather than brute strength. Posture, people. Let's snap it up a bit. But they are stupid as well. It's scary. They always make frontal attacks against their enemies. They know you have been pacified and won't be expecting any resistance from you. Uh-huh. What we must do is prepare a trap for them when they arrive. Right here. And then we'll take them by surprise. Mm -hmm. So the village good. is well situated. And so am I. Those rocks will act as a wall to protect you. And vice versa. That side is impassable to horses, so they'll have to attack from over there. To fortify that exposed side, I'll need several sharp stakes, ropes, mm. and three men to help me. You, and you too. Come with me. 
You afraid? No. <laughs> Won't you fight to save your people? No. I will. I want to fight. For my right Good. to party. Who else will join him? All done back Are there. Are there any more of you here worthy of being called men? Come oh, on, here, we can Mr. win, Aker, I'm sure of it. You. Step forward. Are you no better than sheep who are letting me <laughs> Just too harshly. We are a people who we never believed in the war. But you have convinced me. My husband, me. some hot Bring shot. The sacred Ancient wine. Chinese secret, huh? Ator's prehistoric cave dwellers in Milwaukee are a long way apart. But they have one thing in common. Cave land means the best human hearts available. And Milwaukee means sacred wine. Now, Ator. Cream or sugar? First. Let us drink to your return. Okay. Then, then we again. will discuss your plan. Drink it all. Sometimes the Don't poison's on the bottom. The village of your ancestors. May your stay I've be heard a this part. one uh, for all of us. I will. I thank you. And drink to the health, hey. prosperity, and liberty of your people. Hmm. Champagne makes me giggly. <laughs> but let us organize ourselves. I smell a rat, a big now commie then, rat. I'll need your strongest men to build hey. defenses. It's Timothy Leary. Once, I guess Liddy will have to do the tour without him. <laughs> Let's get to work. My name is Ravani. Tell that all they're going to trap him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get some sleep, Quentin. Okay? Is your ear drained? Good. Oh? Your spit bucket's full. Okay, so uh, I just call now, okay? Um, do I just leave the sign on so the maid makes a room? Okay. Mm -hmm. I close the door. Mm -hmm. Are you done with your <laughs> drink? <laughs> we secretly switched Atar's coffee with Folger's crystals. Let's watch. Huge. Timber! Oh, right. Now we call this film The Wong Dwellers. Oh, yeah. Thong. Thong. Yeah, Thong. Sorry. Satellite picture shows clouds coming in from the west, but this should burn off by about noon. Before the dawn of time, a race of druids. Nobody knew who they were or where they came from. Cool. Boy, that cleared up really quick. Yeah, I told you it would. Been betrayed. Mm, darn it. Still alive. Think Thong so? Is free. I wonder if it wouldn't have been easier if we had just kept on going to the aid of my father. A Monday morning quarterback. No one's life is more important than another's. Except mine. Your father would have done the same. Wear a tiny leather bikini? Mm -hmm. This is CNN, Luke. Check it out, they worship the Munsingware penguin. Uh, pardon us, did you see a little tiny fox run through here? No? The village elder was the one who lured you to come to help us. In other words, those two were part of the plan. I wish yes. they were part of the plot. Some of us were against it and wanted to fight, but the majority were too terrified. The elder is going to hand you over to the Kungs. Huh? In exchange, they promise to stop killing our people. All right, who's I talking? Can I can't them. figure it out. It must I be the director. Allied with Zor. And what happened to Ravani? The new elder has been slowly poisoning him because he knew Ravani would warn you if he could. Fun. I think Ravani must be dead by now. Yeah. Hey, it's Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders. I think it's the Kurds. And Way? <laughs> yes, Way. They are terrifying, aren't they, with those bandanas, and yeah. they all look very yeah. you know, Machiavellian with their shirts off. Yeah. Machiavelli? Hiya, Phil. Morning, Tom. A month has now passed, old one. Have you done what you said? Well, then we have kept our promise. Now you must keep yours. I give you Ator, and in return, our village will no longer have to sacrifice to your serpent god. Ah. Uh, that must mean no. Yeah, I think so. Uh oh! Uh. Yee-hoo! This is the pillage people. <laughs> no! No! 
It's not fair. I'm the star of the show. <laughs> Duh, I'm sure. My hair is getting singed. Last time I go club hopping with this guy. Bunny, start lighting those huts. A job well done. No! No! Please! Oh. Looks like the back lot at Universal. <laughs> Feel the burn. Come on, go for the burn. Hey, here's just a wild idea. Why don't you rotate to the other side of the pole where the fire isn't? This scene brought to you by Kingsford Charcoal. Edges light quickly. You know, they shouldn't have filmed this at Yellowstone. Oh. Hey. All right. All right, uh, finally. Oh, 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 it's them again. Yeah. I'll probably rip this out. It was there when we moved in. Good foundation, though. I had a little trouble with silverfish, but that's just for a few weeks in the spring. Ah, oh, hiya, Phil. How's the snake hanging? I love that joke. <laughs> That's a cute story. Hey, who's the new guy? We're so sad. Somebody say something. Jeez. That guy with the beard really looks bitter. Yeah. I'm the best looking man in the Middle Ages. My, my, my. Hi, Fred. Hi, everyone. Looking good, Simone. Sorry I'm late. Hi. Hello. Hi. What are you looking at? Here is the treasure I owe you. You can count it. I don't mind. And I trust you will also accept a little personal offering. Say. From me to your god. It's a new car! <sighs> oh, sorry. The bangles? I want to thank you for your offering, though it wasn't in our agreement. Oh, close your robe. But do not think you'll be able to exchange at all, or the girl for them. Darn. It will be my honor to perform the rites of sacrifice personally. I used the word offering precisely because I didn't expect anything in exchange from you. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. I consider our mutual agreement to be entirely fulfilled. Hi. How you doing? Your father is safe and well. In hell. Unfortunately, I won't be able to say the same to him of you. Or of you to As him, heard, or, oh, well, never mind. All my efforts. Don't have touch you the hair. I work on the hair and you touch it. Vain. It's obvious you're not cut out for good deeds. Anyway, it will be less repugnant to be strangled by a thousand hmm. serpents than to have to endure your smile. I see. What does uh, repugnant mean again? Oh, no matter. Mm hmm. Yes, well. You don't find me repugnant, do you? Hmm. You have defeated my magician. You have defeated my warriors. But all your science has proved helpless against the powers of imagination and cunning. May I just uh, cup one I of your sure packs? Is your weak point. Ding! Was your goodness. Dun. Your eagerness for good deeds has betrayed you, Ator. The master won't be very pleased with his uh, prize pupil. It's all over. I mean, it's all over for you, Ator. I know we've Not been best, best friends. Damn. Has the mighty Ator. Nipple. Nothing to say. Must be cold in there. Mm -hmm. I have only one thing to say. Plastics. We will meet again. Don't know where, don't know when. Your master has taught me one thing. The dividing line between goodness and stupidity mm -hmm. is very, very fine. Come on, girls, let's go. Begin the sacrifice. Oh, wait a minute. The tape's not queued up. Uh, I got it. There. There's a maraca down there. 
I can't go in there. Susan Hayward's down there. Whoa. Oh, all right. Oh, am I late? Uh, hi, Travis. Uh, do I look good or what? Yes, yes. You, only you. I shall now sacrifice for all your help and for the powerful protection that you Yeah, yeah, powerful protection. I view by the yeah, uh, as okay. well as Ela, daughter of Acronis, and Atar, ruler of, of the Eastern that. Land. Okay. I pray that these human sacrifices will please you, so that you will favor us and we can conquer Think of something, Thorn. Only your name, mightiest of gods. All right, down you go. <laughs> Hey, this isn't so bad in here. I can really get used to this. And a pleasant. Snake problem, though. What? Oh, oh, wait a minute, folks. We have snakes growling here. Just like the other one. Hey, what happened to the first girl? Look, I'm way over here. Calm down. I just ate. I can't eat another thing for another six months. You're in great shape. Rowling again. <laughs> you know, Streep was up for this role. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Snakes that growl, huh? That's it. <laughs> the slower and more painful the death, no. the more pleased will be the serpent guy. You know, he told me that really in the strictest confidence. All right. Throw down another one. Just like the other one. Wait, I'm 4F! Oh! Man, Gomez is really taking his time. Here comes a creepy mouse. He's patting. No! No! Oh. And now, the fourth victim to please our omnipotent God. Uh huh. No! No! Hi. I'll just hide here behind this chase lounge. There. Oh, this is a comfort rest adjustable bed. Oh, look. Anal retentive snakes. They lined up the skulls. Shut up. Come on. I like to move that hair out of his face. Jeez. Oh, he's taking her home for later. Hi. That was neat. In you go. Psst. Hey, Eta. I'm behind this little pneumonium post over here. Yeah. It's cool. What are you gonna do? Ow! Ooh. Accept, O oh Lord of Serpents and Evil. Get your own. Fifth maiden, which we, your servants, offer you. May your spirit and strength be transmitted to us so that we may reign Hot here cut through your wrist. Your name. Oh. Now the man. <laughs> Always knew I would be an apostle. Oh. Ouch, I landed on my eight sided dice. Uh. Now her. Come on, in you go. Get in the bidet, sister. Inzy winzy, come on. Aha. Uh -huh. huh? Here we go. Now we finally have some action. Ooh. Right. Let's get busy. Oh, no. We gotta go now. Oh, just when it's getting oh, good. Yeah. Oh, it's it. just the way. Carry me. No. Chase me. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'll kill you myself. <laughs> Oh, say, Joel, mm -hmm. why is it when they punch each other in this movie, it doesn't sound anything like a punch? Hmm? Yeah, it sounds more like a bag full of sardines thrown against a pole barn. <laughs> well, you're not too far off, you skipsters. Really? You see, huh? sound effects artists use a technique called Foley to create those sounds. It's interesting, isn't mm, it? No, not, not really. I don't think so, no. I think maybe you should humor me. Oh, okay, oh, okay sure. Oh, Foley, Very huh? Very interesting. Really yeah, cool. tell us. Well, Please. I'm glad you asked, boys. Foley artists use a lot of ordinary items found around the home or office to create 
convincing sound effects. Oh, like the sound of uh, fists slamming into jaws? <laughs> right. Well, let's get started with something simple. An easy way to make a horse trotting is to use a pair of coconuts. Oh. Coconuts? Right. Now listen. It's ah. the sound of a quarter horse gilding on a cobblestone courtyard. It's pretty convincing, isn't it? Yeah, but what if the horse is on grass? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, you add these handy sod mumps, okay? Oh. Whoa, all of a sudden we're at Aqueduct. <laughs> yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff, like uh, take punches. Oh, I'd rather not. Not in the mouth. No, please, I, mean, no. <laughs> I mean the sound of punches. Okay, oh. traditionally a leather glove against a heavy metal or a heavy punching bag was used. Heavy okay, metal. heavy metal punching bag. Ooh. Like oh, Ooh. but Whoa. the sound in this Ator movie is much, much cheesier. All right, I'm way ahead of you, buddy. You just use these uh, goggles here, yeah. okay, and use a pair of Hollywood meat slammers, okay? <laughs> Add Ugh. your own grunts. Real meat. Uh, oh, oh, my Oh, Wow, like that, that is see? absolutely perfect, but, but why the goggles? Eye protection. Now, I want you to name me a sound, and I bet I can foley it. I got it, I got it. Uh, okay. do, uh, do the ocean. Okay, that's easy. Just add birdshot to a drum head. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, it's neat, huh? Okay, I got another one. Let's see. Um, how about the sound of somebody's spine cracking? Oh, that's easy. You use celery. Make sure it's fresh. Okay. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. That's too easy, guys. Give me a hard one. Oh, okay, I got it. A herd of buffalo. Oh, no problem. Box full of hamsters. Mm -hmm. Poor guys. Uh, did I say buffalo? I meant water buffalo. Oh, well, that's <laughs> simple. You just add some milk. Uh-huh. Poor little Check guys. it out. Well, okay, now, I got a tough one. A yeah. rubber Wellington boot stuck in the mud. Oh, that's easy. You just fill a pair of pantyhose with some jello, uh -huh. like that. Wow. Oh, yeah. See, it's April. neat. Cool. All wow. right, uh, do a scream. Yeah, that's a good oh, do well, a there's a lot of ways to do that. But okay. I'll show you this way. Just take an, uh, for a man's voice, you just take an Ohio blue tip match and uh -huh. strike it against somebody. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Ah! Yeah, huh. it's simple. Okay, now and, how about a woman scream, Joel? Oh, well, then for a woman, you set fire to TV's madam. Oh, that's easy enough. Oh, don't hide my hat! Oh, no! See, it's simple. Oh, help me, there she help goes. me, buddy, I'm flaming. Oh, get that's me to a great mouth. scream. Oh, please, huh, cool. Joe. Oh, help me. We'll be help right me. back. Mother-loving pigeon, pigeon of, of all sock puppets. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was thinking. You might say he's coiling a cobra. <laughs> oh. Big time. And you, you know what? He's not slimy at all. That's because he's made out of velour. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah. A planet where snakes evolve from men? Uh, uh, you know, um, you can jump in here anytime. Uh, no problem. Uh, no, I got it. That's OK. You just stay do what you're doing over there. That's OK. Quick, hand me a hanger. Just cut the wires, Atar. Ah. Oh, oh. This is for Kukla. Yeah. And and this one's for Fran Allison. Yeah. I'm come on, beanie boy. Hmm. Oh. Oh. That was neat. Are you alright? Oh. oh. You got a cigarette? Let's I'm stay spent. up and talk a while. I'm spent. K2, rising majestically above the Nepalese highlands. Or not. It's too quiet. Too, too, too quiet. quiet. Tonk. Tonk. Is there another way up to the castle? Behind the wall, there's a secret passage. Maybe we can slip in unnoticed. We'll never free your father without them knowing it. What secret could it be if uh, he knows about it? We'll have to fight them. The three of us? No, just me. You were a big help with we a snake. We haven't anyone else. Gomez, you want to take a line, buddy? If I remember correctly, there's another way in. Yes, it's still there. It opens into the underground passage. It's a super secret double dog entry. Hmm. You and Thong go in that way. Uh, it Dong, sir. No, it is thong, isn't it? Thong. Do you hear something? 
I swear I heard something. I'll keep them busy outside. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gonna be all right. He must have something in mind. So you live around here much? Do you? Oh. Oh, come on! What the? <laughs> Terrific. Oh. I'm the luckiest boy in the world. I have slipped the surly bounds of earth and touched the hand of God. This is a little ridiculous. Okay, so he kills a deer, he tans the hides, he stretches the skins, he makes an anodized aluminum frame, he learns how to extrude and weld all in about five minutes, huh? Yeah. He learned aerodynamics. Boy, you get up here, everything looks small. Only one problem, how do I get this thing down? Man, it looks like he flew into an Omnimax show, doesn't it? He flew into another country. A tour flies, and so does my heart. In his kite made of string and sticks and bamboo, I fly along with you. So pretty. I go along for the ride. I'm not a stupid tour, like the rest of them. A tour, a tour, my sweet friend. Huh? Uh, oh. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> what? Oh, that pause, that crazy. <laughs> he killed me. Gomez, I've invented the wheel. Atar Thomas Peterson, you get down here immediately this instant. It's not just Ator that's flying, it's the human spirit. Let's get out of here. Help me, I don't know how to get this thing to work. Goodbye. Goodbye, folks. Goodbye. And he flies with his stupid contraption. I think I just invented air sickness. <laughs> huh. Meanwhile, at the wineries of Ernest and Judy O'Gallo, Tommy Smothers is raising quite a havoc. Uh, my hub, my hubcap's chafing. Ooh. Oh, this must be the secret passageway. Let's go. So high, oh. fly. Great, this is the opening up from where eagles dare. Mm -hmm. I've seen this. <laughs> so Weyerhaeuser is committed to preserving our natural resources. I can see my house from here. We're flying so free. Hey, hey and it's anamorphic. Huh? We're in Vienna? Hey. Hey, look up there. What is it, a bird? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Oh, I've seen that comic. It's a graphic novel, oh, Joel. Right, I'm sorry. Hey, Tarlo, this is George Kennedy. Uh, we're gonna talk it's you down now. Flying. You're crazy, it can't be. Come on, there's a man in the sky! Huh? A man in the sky? Get out of here, I'm not for your lies. I think I blew my cover. <laughs> is that Atoll up there? Or are yes. you just glad to see me? Because I taught him the theory of flight. <laughs> and if you had been a better student, so you could be flying too. Ooh. Here's theory. those meat slammers. Theory of flight? I'll teach you the theory of fist! You can go on beating me. But knee me in the groin first. Because Artor is better than you. He'll vanquish you. We'll see about that. Oh, that it's one stung. He hit on that one. Connected. Made contact. Landing music. He's in trouble. Pretty. I gotta land, I'm almost out of fuel. Huh? No, it's an Alpine White commercial. Well, looks like he flew into 17th century Bulgaria, and that's Mad Ludwig's castle right there. Oh, right in the turret. Ooh. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Message for you, sir! Ooh. Oh, he also made bombs while he was making. Uh, looks like he's gonna carpet bomb. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right, you crummy rats. Henry Kissinger says Merry Christmas! Oh. 
That's for calling me a femme. Oh. Oh, he didn't even throw that one. Damn, no handrail. Well, that's a nice, well-lit uh, secret passageway. Well, it's secret, but they didn't want to get carried away. Okay. Uh, thrust, parry, advance, cross, thrust, back, thrust. Here's one for my old pal, Melvin Ladd. Oh, ah! my God, they hit Charlie McCarthy. Oh, I love this. This is going to be my regular Saturday night thing. Use uh. his own regular Saturday night thing. I thought the movie was done. That, what? Oh, he's landing in the outback now. Uh, huh? How'd he do hmm. that? How'd I do that? Well, I suppose he's got a tank in the courtyard now. Yeah, and it's made out of coconuts. Right. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Uh-oh. This is for you. Ha! And here's one for you. Ha! There's a little bit That's more for dumb. you. Thank you. Pardon me. Thank you. Coming through. I Oop. know the nucleus is in here somewhere. And you had better tell me where it is. He'd probably tell, tell you if you'd stop where? pushing him around. Or I'd kill you with my own bare hands. I'm warning you. Now tell me, where have you hidden it? It's Out over by the protons. You can't miss it. All right, my son. I can't have it. Nobody will. Hey, he's got to cut the heck out of his thighs with those swords. No. You will die. No. No. Ta -da. You can call me Atra, and I don't come with a comfort strip. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, well, maybe a little. So the mighty Ator needs two swords to fight with, does he? Mockery is the ignorant man's weapon. I always knew you. Oh, so, the mighty long haired John Saxon needs two swords to fight. 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 Is this the mighty Ator? Oh, uh, no, that's living a pole. Legend. Wait. Who said living legend? Have you lost your nerve? Mm. Oh, come on. Yeah, he ran to the ends of the earth. He invented the wheel. He's had a long day. Hey, look, the Desert Dorada's on the wall over there. It's the original. I'm not gonna help him now. He's not much without his hang glider, is he? <laughs> no! 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 You have wonderful pecs. Made you blink. No! Hey, is that a comic book over there? It's not, not a comic, a comic book, book, it's a book, it's a graphic, graphic novel. novel. But it's not good enough. Okay, now that that's good. Can he do that? Now I'll cut you in two. Into what? <laughs> oh, bad place. Oh, 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 are we? Oh, are we? Are we? Are we? Oh, are we, are we? No, I told you can't. Zor is disarmed. If you kill him now, you'll be guilty of murder. What? Wait until he is tried by the High Court of the League of Peaceful Lands. Oh, he's making that up. Wisdom. What is this, BC we'll law? Justice is done. They will make him pay for his crimes. But for us to take the law in our hands puts us on the level of the barbarian. We are no, barbarians. life is something man shouldn't take upon himself. What are you, Lucas Tanner, all of a sudden? So what the heck did I hang glide in here for, anyway? We'll wrap that up sooner. Now beat it. <laughs> Ator, be careful! No! Huh? Ah. Hurts, don't it? Give my mustache to Trevor. <sighs> Trevor. Hey, thanks a lot, Dong. I'll visit you in prison and bake your rice cake with a saw in it, buddy. I mean, Father. Father. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Is Charles in charge over? Thanks for showing up. Do 
Mila. Thank goodness you're safe. <laughs> hey, come on. Thanks to How about a little song. sugar for Ator over here, huh? Hmm? Thong? No, it's a dance belt. I'll be with you in a minute. Your father gave me the nucleus. I'm taking it back with me. Oh, and uh, there was some turkey and stuff in the fridge. I made myself a sandwich. Hope you don't mind. Mila, I wanted to say you that... You don't have to say anything. I know you must fight evil wherever it occurs. <laughs> My life is too dangerous to share with you. Mm -hmm. You must follow your destiny alone. With Chad. Goodbye, Mila. After I've finished, I'll be back. And I'll look like a leather Wait pancake. Yes. Take care of yourself and your father. He needs you. <laughs> uh, I gotta go model for a line of action figures. I'll see you. Watch over them, though. I think I can do that. He is, like, so cool. Oh. Miles O'Keefe will be back in Where Angels Go, Trouble Follows. Hey, feedback. Neat. Lest the nucleus fall into unscrupulous hands, and the earth and all living creatures be consumed in a seething cauldron of annihilation. Anybody got a clue? At all destroyed it. Hmm. Perhaps in the future, man would be wise enough to use this Promethean discovery. Actually, Mrs. O'Leary's cow kicked it over. That's how it happened, yeah? Mankind, you make me want to vomit. Go away. Just go away. I'm so sick of you. Get out of here. Come on. Well, this is neat, but what the heck does it have to do with the movie? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. I think they ran out of things to do. Throw a little Oppenheimer in here right now. Hey, I see a president's face up there. I see a bunny. Huh. How about enough of this? <laughs> Let's escape to Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he traded in his hang glider for a horse. He probably built that horse, too. Yeah, yeah. I think about it. Out of mud and sticks. Raised it from a puppy. Beautiful animal, isn't he? Yeah. Hey, look, tire tracks! <laughs> Gow! Inherent goodness of man. The inherent dullness of man. To do battle, wherever man is oppressed. Wherever there's Atto kids laughing because they're hungry and they know supper's ready. Whenever there's a cop beating up no on a guy. Too powerful and protected to avoid He'll his there, frightful Henry. punishment. He is the guardian of knowledge and the hope of the future. Yeah, right. Atto, the Avenger. Oh. Huh? What? No, it, oh, the Guardians of B.O. all of a sudden. No, that's th those are the screenwriters. Take your best shot, guys. I gotta get something heavy to throw. <laughs> this is really cute, these credits here, huh? Hey, it's the new kids in the cave. Oh. You know, they couldn't even find an exciting enough scene from their own movie to show with the credits. This looks like the Jefferson Jr. High production of Godspell that mm -hmm. I saw. Yeah. I missed that. Uh, no, those... No, 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 no. The mohawk goes the other way. You look like a turkey. You know, or kind of like a bath brush, too. Yeah. Walk like an Egyptian, conk chong. Hey, chicken head. Hey, chicken head. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> now, where is my shirt? Papian, I need to borrow some money. I think he's looking for James Franciscus and Charlton Heston. Huh? <laughs> kind of groovy. Okay, huh? let's get out of this huh? dog right now. Huh? What is it? We gotta go. Oh, oh hi. Hey, it's Chad and Trevor. Oh. They found each other. Wasn't that bad, was it? Come on. I liked it.
Look, booby, when we send you a film, they're supposed to be bad. What do you want from us? I mean, we, we have it worse than them. We, we have to watch you watching the film. <sighs> okay, look, it's bad enough that this was clearly the worst film you have ever sent us, but it was also right. filled with continuity problems to boot. Yep. My colleague Crow will elucidate. Uh, a what? You'll show him. Oh, right, right, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, frame 12247. Cambot, bring that up. A pan of a field, yet seen clearly in the back. Somebody's been four-wheeling. Okay, next frame, please. Uh, 2162503. Thank you, Cambot, for giving the fact that Ator is flying a hang glider. He's doing it over a modern city! <sighs> okay, now, the piece of resistance. Cambot, 202 Four, three. Okay, during the raping and pillaging, a prehistoric caveman is clearly seen wearing a pair of Ray-Bans. Who's that behind the Foster Grants? It's Og! Yeah, and what about Scarecrow's brain? Huh? What, what do you, you want, want from, from us? us? We're, We're evil! 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 Yep, I guess you could say we're cut from a different cloth. Exactly, Frank. I guess you could say we're more evil in a $3 bill. Push the button, Frank. I guess you could say the factory's still open, but we're making different stuff now. Would you just push the button? The, the button. I guess you could say we're buying it wholesale and passing the savings on to you. <laughs> Fish is ready. <laughs>